What's going on YouTube? It's Blue Hunters, and in today's video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to install the RPCS3 emulator on your PC so that you can play PS3 games on your PC. I'm going to get straight to the point, so I uh, hope you all enjoy it. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe to the channel. All right, so the first thing you want to do is create a new folder on your desktop and just name it the uh, RPCS3. Oops. Just do that. So then all your files will be in the same place when you actually download it. And then you're going to go into your browser. I'm going to give you guys the links in the description to everything you need to get this downloaded. So you're going to actually go to this rpcs3.net to download the emulator. And you're going to do the Windows. Well, depending on which one you have, I have a Windows computer. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to my file that I just created the rpcs3 open and save it in there then go ahead and open that up when it's done downloading another useful thing you're going to do is download this breeze zip you can get it from the microsoft store so just go into your microsoft store type in breeze zip and install it and it makes it a lot easier to extract your files so with all these we're going to do this select them all Make sure you have them all selected. Extract. Takes a little bit, not too bad. And then you're going to put all these files in your desktop. So it looks like that. You have everything in there. And you need to do one more thing before it actually starts to work. Well, to actually get it to work, is you're going to need to go to the actual Sony website. Go to the hardware and repairs, other products, PlayStation 3, software, and PS3 system software. Then you're going to download the software. While that's downloading, I recommend going into that RPS3, RPCS3 and making a new folder and just calling it firmware. Just so you know where everything's at. I'll put Make that. Don't need to full screen that. Go back to your browser. Oh, sorry, it's kind of weird. You gotta right click it, save link as, and then go ahead and put it in that firmware file and save it. It's gonna say that, but just go ahead and continue to download. It's from the actual Sony website, so there's gonna be nothing, nothing bad on it. So that's all you'll need for this portion. Um, I'll leave a a link in the description on how to download the games uh, but I'll show you how it looks when you're extracting it and how to put it inside all right so you're gonna go into your file and open up this rpcs3 one the application at the very bottom go ahead and I recommend reading all this <laughs> it's up to you though but go ahead and open it then what you're gonna do is go to file go to install firmware and in that firmware file that we made go ahead and just update that and it's going to take a little bit it's going to actually download the ps3 software so when you're actually in it it looks like a ps3 but we won't really be in there but you need it to actually run the games so is that it's installed and it's going to run through this we'll just fast forward because it takes a little bit. All right, now that that's done, we can refresh it. And then it shows it right there. And if there is an update, it will prompt you to update it. But if you open this up, it will actually bring up the PS3 interface. That's if you really want to do that. You don't necessarily have to. But yeah, who knows? Who knows what you want to do with this? All right, now that that's finally done, go ahead and uh, allow access to this. And uh, you don't have your controller set up yet, so you can go ahead and do that in pads. I have an Xbox One controller, well, Xbox Elite controller. So what you're going to do is just go to X input if you have an Xbox controller, and it will work perfectly with that. You just save that. 
Go ahead and open that uh, interface back up. Hit A or X if you have a PlayStation controller. And the interface is just about done. And there you go. Interface is all downloaded. It'll show you the whole old PS3 system. Go ahead and set it up. Uh, this, I'll get my time zone since we're already here. Uh, yeah, this is it. Today's the 28th. 2023. It is 2.40. Boom. All right. Next. This will set up. Done. You want to do internet connection? That is all done. Your user is all set up. And here comes a little flashback of the old PS3 load up. Mmm, look at that. Alright. So you can go ahead and close that. And I'm going to show you how to install a game. I have already a couple games installed, but... When you get the file from whatever website, and this one might say Bim's Lair, if you want to check that website out, maybe. I don't know. That might be where I got this game. You're going to hit Extract. And then it's going to open up a, a file once it's done extracting. Just fast forward through this loading part. All right, now that it's all done, it'll open up this folder over here and I'm just gonna drag it into the my PS3 games file that I already made then you can go ahead and delete this one all right you can go ahead and delete this file so you don't need it anymore it's already extracted and in there but what I am gonna do is I'm just gonna put this in there my rpcs3 files just so everything's in the same spot now how to add the games we're going to go into file again add games and then it's going to open up a file search window and i have my ps3 games already and you're just going to click on the file of the game you want to install and bang it shows up right there and just to show you again real quick how quick and easy it is after you already install the game, installing the game on your PC takes a little bit. But there they are. They're right there on the, the little game list. Um, what I like to do is I like to right click it and then create a shortcut. You can put it on the desktop. So then there's Fight Night right there. Shortcut, desktop. And then Medal of Honor right over there. So then you can close this if you wanted to. You can close that. And open up whatever game you want to play. It's going to open up in a window. And all you have to do is double click that window. It's going to do this every time you open up a game. It's going to compile the PPU files or modules. The first time is always the longest. And then after that it goes by pretty quick. Alright now that's all done. It'll load up the game. And you're playing e PS3 Sports games like you were game. before on your PC. Hope this video helps you guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if it helped you at all. And I'm just going to show you all a little gameplay. Show you that it works. He caught you with oh, one there, huh? Perfect. It's okay. But yeah, if this was helpful in any way, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate you all. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.
This is a penitentiary, son. That rep ain't gonna do shit but count somebody out, which means you got to knock that cracker on his ass. Yeah. And you got one round. Knock the fucker on his ass. 